the mailbox, 143. Okay. And that was, I was probably, what, 12, something like that. Mm -hmm. And here, uh, Mom talked about, uh, <coughs> uh, had to go get the mail, you know. And, uh, like I say, she worked all the time. I can't remember when she never worked. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, I helped uh, at the hospital when it was built. Uh, yeah. And, uh, but anyhow, I got that box, and uh, when she'd send the Sears to things, you know, is she overpaid, which she normally made sure she had enough for everything, and they'd get a little ticket back. <coughs> and uh, I always went and cashed it over to the uh, dime store where our neighbor, uh, whatever her name was, worked. Okay. See? So I took mom home the money. See? Mm -hmm. If this lady wasn't always at the dime store, why not take the deal home? So one time uh, I kept the money. Didn't say anything. Oh. Mom never said a word to me. And talk about a guilt trip. Good. I had that awesome. for years and awesome. years, and I finally asked her about that. <laughs> she said, you paid for it, didn't you? <laughs> oh, she didn't have to spank you or scold you. Oh, awesome. no. no but she, knew she was me. wise, wasn't she? Oh, uh, she, she was smart, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. He said, I'll tell Dad on you. Yeah, well, I knew she wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. did, you, did you, did you, were you one of the kids that, that thought Grandpa was really awesome, or were you one of them that thought Grandpa was kind of mean? I only got one for, word for him. <laughs> he was, well, he wasn't, uh, what do you call it? He was prejudiced. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I got the uh, dirty end of the stick all the time. See, Daddy said he did. Daddy, Daddy said that, you know, Daddy and Grandpa, Daddy was like, from what I got from the stories that Daddy said, Daddy was like terrified of Grandpa. You know, just like getting on. Just like every one of the Well, getting on a lot of times earned it. Yeah. Well, uh, Dad would catch Janon coming in. He thought she was going out. <laughs> I love that, you know. Yeah, wow. <laughs> but she was coming in this one time that I, I know in, in the back window, see. Okay. And he opened the door there as she was getting on the floor. He thought she was going out. She was sneaking out. She's <laughs> already been out. Oh my gosh. Anyhow. Well, you know, usually there's a reason for, for why they don't like someone. But your dad. They probably asked for it. Your dad and Howdy. Uh, your dad would. Uh, well, Howdy would convince your dad to. Uh, lie against me, you know, because uh, uh, Dad, one time that I know for sure, I mean, he brought home and they dumped a logging truck full of long wood logs for, okay. for us. Okay. And Dad said two blocks a night was what we were supposed to saw after school. Okay. Howdy and I. Okay. And Howdy, uh, he said, no. He wasn't going to do it. <laughs> and I couldn't, I, couldn't start, I couldn't start that uh, saw by myself. See? And uh, so he didn't tell Dad, you know, on the way home, you know, he told, uh, he didn't get the wood saw, you know. Sid wouldn't help. Oh, great. And he'd already talked to your dad, and your dad agreed with him. It wouldn't help. So I'd get in trouble. They both got in trouble with me. So that's 
the way it went. So did you whoop him? He didn't, I did. That's what I'm saying. I would mean, hope you did. And one time a cousin was a boxer. And Dad had brought home a, a pair of boxing gloves. And he told him, you know, I must have been pretty good sized about then, you know, because uh, he said, asked me if I wanted to put them on. He says, you know, I've got a lot more to lose than you do. Well, I didn't want to put them on a man. And so this cousin told me he'd been a boxer. And Dad give him the gloves and told me to put them on. Huh. Thank you. I like bananas on their cereal. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you. Okay. So, I told this story a million times. This kid, man, uh, he just would start beating a sock out of me and I'd get over there next to that tree in the front. You know, the, Oh, uh, that's at the house the up there. Tree, yeah. <laughs> And he got there, and I started climbing that tree, and I got up, and he got below me, and I tell you, my shoe met him right in the jaw, <laughs> and out of that tree he went. I had no more problem with him. <laughs> wow, so he wasn't, he wasn't just boxing, he was being a bully if he was chasing you yeah. in the tree. See, so uh, I had to figure it out, well, if I can get him up there, I got him whipped. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, uh, I always did. Offered it for them to take the first swing. The kids, I said, kids at school, you do that again, and you're in trouble, okay? And I got in trouble, but uh, a kid would get peeled at me, uh, I don't know. Let you them know. swing first. But uh, mm -hmm. hey, and you can you can read it in their face. You're on. They're gonna they're gonna swing. Mm -hmm. And I was up here. At uh, the dance hall up here one time, and then the gal asked me if she didn't like the guy she was with if I would take her home when I took my girl home. Sure. And he came over and uh, made some remarks, and I told him to take the first swing, boy. And he started to swing, and I decked him right there. <laughs> and, uh, well, just leave me alone. Mm -hmm. That whole through school, even the uh, the uh, principal. Don't know what his name is, but I <laughs> I threatened to hit him. He was back towards the steps and upstairs, you know. He was back towards the steps, and I knew he was a chicken. He wouldn't, you know. I went to hit him, and he backed took a step back through the stairs or something. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you going to hit the principal? Was uh, his attitude. Oh. <laughs> wow.